BBC Three Counties Radio. It's Helen Lee Infinite Coffer this afternoon. That's the Communards. Don't leave me this way. I met um, the man who sings with the Communards. What's his name? Jimmy Somerville. Met him once. He wouldn't look me in the eye. What an unusual man he was. I've been talking about ghosts this afternoon in the centre of Aylesbury and um, asking for your ghost stories. And we've had one about Sherbet Lemons. um, And we didn't have any from the landlord of one of the oldest pubs in Aylesbury, which I was a bit disappointed by. And then I met Dave, Dave Postansky, who is taking over a tour that is put on in Aylesbury, at the Villains of Aylesbury tour. And Dave, you know a lot of ghost stories, don't you? I do. I I got involved with the previously known as Ghouls and Villains. It's a walking play, like a tour that goes around uh, the old parts of Aylesbury from the town hall through the church square, off of Market Square, through the Market Square, back round to the courts where there was uh, hangings years ago. And yes, and and I played lots of different characters. I played lots of these different ghosts. The most interesting one that I played was a guy called Jasper Jackson, who is actually someone who was believed to have murdered his wife. And it isn't at all true. It's just a story some children made up in the 1970s about a guy whose gravestone they saw. And the idea of in the play that I did the last couple of years, written by Hayley Sinclair, uh, was that he's defending that he didn't actually kill his wife and he's an innocent wow, man. Wow, that's yeah. the kind of story I want because I'd, I'd much prefer that these were made up stories, to be honest with you, Absolutely. about Aylesbury. Have you, on, when you've been going around doing these, finding out about these tours, are there any that are true? Um, so you, from your opinion? From my opinion, uh, maybe. Uh, the, the, Aylesbury is quite a scary place, especially at night. Um, but the, the, the interesting thing about Aylesbury is that a lot of these things seem not to be true. I just last week made a film called The Battle of Aylesbury for a project called Lights, Camera, Aylesbury to promote local performing arts. And the big thing about this battle, which took place in the English Civil War, is that that may not have happened either. Oh. Yes, it was uh, just political propaganda by the... Uh, people fighting the royalists and so it may not have actually happened but all this is part of the history of Aylesbury and I love that that's yeah. amazing isn't it yeah and, and I think that since you know it may not be true history but it's a rich history and it's ours yeah. and we're still proud of it regardless it's interesting how Chinese whispers and, and things like that happen um, so will these tours be running again soon yes uh I've got a meeting about it next week, actually. I think it's the 11th or 12th of November that Villains of Aylesbury will be happening again. Uh, And it's always a sellout, so do make sure you book your tickets quickly for it. Uh, And you can find out more about that from the uh, Town Council website. And there'll be stuff on there at aylesburyperformingarts.co.uk. Thank you, Dave. Thank Thank you you very much. much. You're listening to BBC Three Counties Radio. It's 2.24. Yasmin Khan on BBC Three Counties Radio.